What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was against this level eight clan, Grasshoppers. They, you know, they did their best. They brought a few okay attacks, but it really uh, wasn't too much of a nail biter of a war. Uh, I'll flip over and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Uh, 2.0 is victorious by 10. Um, they got twos on all the tens, and they did three salty, who is a brand, brand, brand new ten. Uh, but missed pretty much all the nines. I think they got two, three stars. Yeah, two, three stars on the nines. Um, few nines missed by 2.0. Um, I think three. Yeah, three nines missed by 2.0. So uh, it's the tough ones there, that's for sure. But uh, one of the tens as well was missed getting twoed. But KNX showed his true fashion and picked it up with... Uh, <laughs> his three stars on four and six so uh let's just jump right in and kind of make this a short video uh let's watch knx's wonderful th10 threes here all right so i, w I was watching these replays earlier and um i, w I was thinking of how uh, guys with not necessarily 40 40 heroes could relate to these attacks because obviously you know this is a max base so i'm not talking about max bases if you have lower le lower level heroes um, you really just should be looking, if you're ever looking at 3-star 10, you, you should be looking at weak, rush, more rush Town Hall 10. It's not max basis, first of all. Um, but if you do, you can copy the same principles, right? You have to be a little more careful because your heroes aren't as beefy. However, you know, you can give some of them a few giants or a golem and cut it a little bit shorter in your loons. And still have very similar success. I mean, it takes a lot of practice. The KNX doesn't just three-star these bases because he has 40, 40 heroes. That does it. When you get 44 heroes, this does not just happen. <laughs> this is a lot of practice under his belt. And um, the deployment of your spells, deployment of your loons, timing. Timing is huge in Town Hall 10. So this does not happen overnight. However, it can still be done, and even at, at, at a lower scale for Town Hall 10. The same principles apply. Take care of that Arch Queen. Take care of an Air Defense or two. And the CC troops, make sure they're handled. And you got pretty good success if you can back it up with some uh, Lava Hounds and Balloons. So, and a ton of haste <laughs> as KNX shows here because it is cleanup. Nice job, KNX. Beautiful. Couple more buildings, and that is your three star. So, another six star war here for KNX. Let's check out his other attack. <clears throat> a, a little more of a rush base. Uh, so, he can be a little more, I guess, frivolous with his heroes. And he is. He just drops he drops one giant instead of a golem and just drops his heroes in so in a situation um, when you have say 25 25 heroes you would still drop that golem in there and you're still going to get that air defense and you're still going to get that archer queen and you're still going to pull out the cc troops and have them dealt with and take out a little chunk of the base and then guess what you're bringing in four lava hounds for three more air defense and a crap ton of loons when you spend a golem with your king there, yeah, you lose six loons, but that, that's what happens. KNX has a... <laughs> I just noticed this um, now, actually, that he, he dropped the swag. Hey, so I had watched this replay before. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> nice job, KNX. Or maybe that was... Maybe you're trying to push these loons straight at that inferno in the core. I don't know. I could not tell you if that was swag or not. I think it was though. Last air defense. Oh, not last air defense. Both air defenses are going down right now. Handful of balloons in the bag. Is this goal or lava hound is unbusted yet? It is about to go. I think when it gets yeah, there, it goes. Um, but this one lava hound stays alive. But look at all these pups. He is just pops all over this base. This archer tower has one sliver of health on it. So realistically you know these pups are fine like without this lava hound without everything they could clean up this base on their own it is cleanup time knx just killed it nice job man always a pleasure watching your attacks three stars all right so 
bit of a bit of a theme to the nines for this this episode this recap uh i noticed like everyone i don't know if they were like the guys in 2.0 were having like a valk competition but there everyone was using valks like everyone not everyone but a lot of valk attacks here so i wanted to show the ones that i thought stood out the most i got a few of them marked down here uh kk going in on number 12 brings 11 valks a shattered entry 14 hogs and eight whiz uh, rage kind of for everything double jump for the valks that is always a good idea so he's he's going in shattered here <clears throat> basically just creating his funnel here just taking his time i like it, it you got to be patient with valks that's one thing i've learned is you have to be patient with your hogs with your heels with your everything um with how, when you deploy them right you want to make sure the golems get out front and do some tanking so they don't just get ripped apart uh i'm pretty sure you knew there was a hound on the cc so he just went in and sent them in if he did not know what was in that cc i can almost guarantee you click clack would have been a lot more um cautious with his valks we'll just say uh this whole core just goes down. The Valks are enraged. They just dominate. Like within seconds, they're already in this core. Bombs are getting taken out over here. Uh, really, just huge spread for these Valks. They're just wrecking through the core of this base. So he just sprinkles two hogs on each defense on the outside. Uh, just kind of follows them around. All, half these defenses are are targeting the kill squad still, anyways. So these hogs are just getting free defenses all around the outside. Everything's looking just fantastic at this point really only a couple defenses to go he even has a couple more to drop on this cannon on the backside. again the king is still tanking valks are still tanking really like 11 valks with two golems that is so much tanking so a couple more defenses it's clean up click clack definitely bringing the sexy attack here i loved it three stars Right, my next Valk attack is uh, what did I have? Seventeen <laughs> Nightmare. Is this the big one? No, this is six. You only brought six here, but I like the earthquake placement um, and just the patience on the earthquake. Uh, and on his like, he drops his golems here. Just kind of watch how he just lets everything develop. He just he just relaxes. Just let all these trash buildings clear. Send in a test wall breaker. Good. Sends in the rest. Opens up that wall. Golems are going to reroute. He still has not dropped his king or Valks. Keep in mind, there comes the Lava Hound out, on the, uh, out targeting on the Golem. Drops the Valks in. Drops the king in right behind. Everything's just going to walk right in here. And boom, there goes the Earthquake. Whole huge section of base is now opened up. Keep in mind, he, he only brought six Valks here. So it's almost like you know a heavy stoned Goho he's bringing. He still has 22 Hogs. Plus, he's got a heal for them as well. So he's going to start sprinkling the Hogs in here on the back end. Uh, he's going to heal, I think, over a bomb location. Because there goes the DGB. No, they're, all the bombs are gone. So, really, he's just got a free free lance for these hogs. He can just heal wherever he wants to. Absolutely fantastic. Just hogs on every defense. Every defense, right? And he's got still his Valks. He's got his king taking down that town hall. They're, well, they're going to take some time busting through this wall now. But the hogs are just, you know, all going to path down here. Right to these Teslas. It, it, this base doesn't stand a chance. Beautiful, beautiful attack nightmare. I was really, really impressed with this one. It's hard to find that exact right number of Valks. How many did you actually need? A few more defenses to go. He still has his King ability available, which I think he uses. I'm pretty sure he brought six Valks. I'm pretty sure five of them are still alive at this point. We're going to have to check on that. But it is clean up. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Five Valks left out of a six. Sexy attack nightmare. Good job. And then what did I have? 18 right below it. JJ bringing 12 Valks on this attack. <laughs> Plus the earthquake. I love it. Because this whole top section's open. So I think, yeah, there goes the earthquake. He's going to open all the way down to here that's like 90 percent of the base so he just floods it with valks he brings two golems and 12 valks there's just not enough dps on them at once to to take it down uh heroes are going to end up backing it up he creates a bit of a funnel he doesn't want his valks straying to the outside he really wanted to make sure it's cut off on on each side of the attack he even brings a few wall breakers to open up a little hole so the valks can get in on that cannon queen goes down taking down the cannon cc troops come out 
Dragon and uh, two loons are going to lock on to those golems. Poison goes down to help take care of those. Wizards are going to make short work of that. There's three of them in there. Here comes the Valk Parade, 12 of them, plus you know the, the king backing everything up. This whole base is just wide open now. He's got a heal and a rage he's about to place down. Not to mention he's got 10 balloons <laughs> for the backside. So he's going to start springing the loons in on these little compartments on the outside. There they are. Uh, one at a time on the cannons, two at a time in the archer towers, two, four kind of on this one Tesla because they converge. Everything's getting tanked though by these 12 Valkyries now that are in this very bottom compartment. Loons are just going to wreck the rest of this base. Sexy attack, JJ. Not the greatest of bases, obviously, but you just showed them why this is a terrible base. <laughs> Beautiful. It's clean up. Three stars. All right. So again, not the not the most interesting of wars, but some sexy replays to show, and uh, yeah, uh, some good content coming up. Randomly matched up with this clan. Uh, uh kc chiefs and i've never heard of them but they're definitely a legitimate three-star clan so should be some great content coming up from this war uh absolutely uh, look forward to it uh so that does it for me uh that's your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you guys bag that next three star until then i'm out